What's up, guys? This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. Happy New Year's! Thanks for coming back. Appreciate it. Here's to a great 2023. So let's jump in. We're back for the 114th time to start a new series to reveal the mysteries, and trust me, they are mysterious, and meanings behind the data on a metal producer's certification for material, aka a material test report or an MTR. First thing to mention is the alternate names that may appear on this type of document, depending on the producing mill. Test report, certificate of test, test certificate, or just certification to name the most common. So here's the name. See it? For our example today, we're using a document from Republic Steel. In the top section, we have details of a specific customer and mill order that are self-explanatory, and we can skip to the technical parts. The primary identifier of this batch of alloy steel is its heat number. The heat number is assigned to the material as it is melted and refined by the producing mill. It may be a simple numerical sequence, or it may contain information in its sequence. Each mill has its own scheme. It identifies a specific chemical composition, and this identity will be maintained throughout production. See it here. Next, we have a section that describes the material, alloy, dimensions, condition, and the applicable specifications and their revision level. Quite a lot of information here. As you can see, it is right here. Chemical composition is shown in the next section, right here. Here's the chemistry. The elements that are either required or restricted by the specifications the material is certified to are listed in this section. This chemistry is taken from the melt during production, and the numbers are the weight percent of the elements present. In this example, there is something listed here as DI point. This is not an element. It is a calculation made from the chemical composition related to the heat treatment under ideal conditions. The ideal diameter, to avoid any confusion, with ID for inside diameter, we use DI for short. In this section, the mill is reporting the reduction ratio, as you can see right here. The amount of hot working the material has undergone. The ratio is the cast cross-section area to the final hot rolled bar cross-section area. In this case, the cast size was 16.5 times as large as the hot rolled bar, as you can see here. Next is a statement indicating that the grain size would be 5 or finer based solely on the presence of 0.020% or greater aluminum in the melt, as you can see here. Based on the aluminum content, we know it would be fine grain, but we don't know the actual grain size yet. However, it looks like we are just about out of time for today. So we will pick up this discussion next time. Thank you so much for watching. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. Again, Happy New Year's. And please remember, please remember to check the Specs. Twice. Right? All right. So, don't forget, Michelin Metals is a distributor and supplier of all things metal. Check the website for any more info or questions you might have. If you're still here and haven't subscribed, please consider doing so now. Missed last week's video? Click here. Again, this is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. I will see you guys next Thursday, 10 a.m. I am out.